Okay guys, what's going on? It's Curtis of Jack here, back again with a brand new video on this channel. And today we are off to watch Swansea City versus Stoke City in the Skyvet Championship. It's a rearranged game because it was meant to be on the 28th of January, but due to Stoke being the FA Cup, it got moved to a midweek game Tuesday, 21st of February. Now, guys, say Stoke City, we don't do particularly well against them these days. It was a 1-1 draw, Tyrese Campbell cancelling Joel Perot's early opener in the last minute. And we need to find a response from that 1 0 defeat at Blackburn after the Daniel Ayala goal. We beat Blackpool on Wednesday. We may have done that, but I think if we don't win tonight, I still think the pressure will be under Russell Martin, to be honest, because three wins in like 18 games is not great, really, still. But we got an important win last Wednesday, and hopefully we can bounce back from that defeat at Blackburn to make it two home wins in a row. Come on, you Swans. Let's hear it for Swansea City! Okay, so three changes tonight for the Blackburn defeat where Oli Cooper, Mike Sorano, and Morgan Whittaker can come in for Joe Latabodia, Jay Fulton and um, I don't think it's Liam Cullen, no, um, I think it might be Liam Cullen, if I have to believe, I don't know, but three changes from the Blackburn defeat and Stoke, thank God, there's no Sam Klukas, no Burson Selina, so that's good, but they've got Ben Wilmot, an X-Swan in centre-back, Tyrus Campbell's a good player, so they're going for the Stoke. And yeah, I think I much need three points tonight, but if we be any less than that point, actually, from Martin, common swans. Right, hopefully we can go off to the flying start. Ryan Mann swiping a free kick. Ryan Manning is also leaving at the end of season, according to Russell Martin. Contract expiring, I mean, he'd be very key to season. He'd be a very big loss. He has to go, but ain't that good a delivery. And I think we'll likely go backwards. Matty Sorinola. Oh, oh, go on, go on. Go on, Whittaker. Since um, 2021, where he played Derby, but yeah, Morgan Whitaker, since his return from Plymouth on loan, he's got his first Swansea goal. This is why he should be starting as well. Come on! Oh, yeah, and I did say as well, um, Morgan Whitaker actually scored a hat trick against Plymouth in the Carabao Cup. Well, it was his first league goal, like a championship goal, since the Derby game, what I meant earlier. So, yeah, apologies for that error, but yeah, first league goal for Swansea since that Derby game 2021, but first goal since that. Uh, Hat-trick in um, the Carabao Cup against Plymouth in August 2021. Oh, come out for it. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Typical. But mind you, though, I think we should have had a free kick, though. Equaliser for Stoke City. Um, Josh Lawrence getting a goal. And I was it took a couple of attempts, but... I don't think that should have been allowed, to be honest with you. Because before the corner, there was a foul. Joe Allen, there was a man all over him. Corners did in. Will Smith all delivered it in. And yeah, Josh Lawrence um, is there to make it 1 1. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh god, Stalker in again because we made a stupid mistake in the back. And we paid the price for it as well. Just not good enough. 2-1 to Stoke City, Josh Lawrence with his second of the night. And again, just came from our own mistake. We played out from the back, near from Woods, gives it straight to him. Passes it to um, Tyrese Campbell, I think, and passes back to Josh Lawrence, puts it into the top bins, and yeah, we paid for a price for it. Why are we playing out from the back all the time? It's not good enough. Oh, my lord. Oh, no, very in for another one. Oh, my God. Just stop it, boys. Stop playing up from the back all the time! Half time at Swans Duck on Stadium, Swans City 1, Stoke City 2. I gotta say, we never learn from these mistakes, don't we? I thought the first goal, mm, I wasn't sure if there might have been a foul in the play, but second goal, of course, shock horror comes from our own mistake at the back. Trying to pass around from the back all the time, it's not good enough, unfortunately. I mean, Morgan Whitaker shows why he's starting. He's got his goal, first league goal since the Derby game, and the first time he scored for Swans since the hat trick against Plymouth. But unfortunately, the way it's going, there, it's probably going to be taxi for Russell Martin because the way we're playing still, he's not learned from his mistakes. It's just not good enough, to be honest with you. Not good enough. 
second half needs a massive improvement. We bought on Olivia and Chan for Harry Darn as well. For more going more forward. We paid 1.5 million for Harry Darn. I don't know why we bring him off all the time, but it is what it is. But same time though, it's not good enough. Right, Reese Swans away, he's didn't catch him for the game. What oh. do you think of first half? For me, it's not good enough. Well, before the game, I was actually pretty confident with the lineup. You know, you get an early goal, brilliant finish, brilliant ball for some more, and great finish from Whitaker. And you're thinking, you know, let's, let's build on this. Yeah, it shows why Morgan Whitaker should be starting. But right. we just make, our, make mistakes in the back again, and we paid the price for it once again. The defence and the goalkeeper, I don't think I've seen a worse partnership this season in terms of confidence. The confidence between all of them is just absolutely screwed. And the only link between all of them really is Darling with Fisher because they played the game. And he's cut subbed off. I don't, I don't understand why it's always Harry Darling who gets subbed off. I know, I agree. Um, I think we've got like third or second worst defence in the league in terms of goal conceded. Yeah. And I think it's hard for Mark to keep his job after this. People say about the protest, the young squad. But for me, Sunderland, on average, have got the youngest squad in the league and then the playoffs. Yeah. So you can't use this as an excuse. And at the end of the day, if, he, if he's on about a young squad, then why did you let someone like Ryan Bennett leave in the summer? Yeah, you know, lack of experience. Man. So for all three guests out of this, a point's not great, but if we can just get anything, I'll be happy. But honestly, the way it's going, I think uh, Mario will be a lucky man to still be in Swansea by Friday. Yeah, cheers. Right. Second half underway, got to improve. Stoke, fair play, they have been a better team. First half for me. Uh, call the ball right man swinging and nothing much has happened since then um, still passing around which is pretty dull also and um, Liam Walsh has come on for Joe Allen first appearance for a while for him good to see him back on a pitch but we need to find something as soon as possible come on oh. come on Olivia come on come on just find a late equaliser He's clearly not been good enough tonight. Come on. Come on, Olivia, have a whack. Oh! Unlucky, come on! Come on, just please. Come on. Oh, again, this is not good enough. Oh, and they're counter-attacking. Oh, Lewis Baker. 3-1, game over. We are awful. Oh my God, where do we start with that? Just not good enough, you know. Fair play to Stoke, they were a better team. as finished Swan City 1, Stoke City 3. No joke, after the third goal walk, went in, I actually walked out because, you know, just not good enough. I mean, same mistakes every week, just never seem to learn from them. And even though we're like 2-1 down, we're still passing around all the time. But to be fair with Martin, he did try to go attacking, but at the same time, it was too early. And also, I thought we got what we deserved tonight. 3-1 defeat. Fair play, Stoke deserved it. But now, three wins in about 19 or so. I think it could be taxi for Russell Martin, to be honest with you. Because that style of play is not good enough. I mean, the owners don't help. But at the same time, though, they're not the ones on the tactics. Martin is the one that needs to sort his tax tonight. Because, again, it's an absolute embarrassment. But anyway, Rotherham United, we're back here again on a Monday night. They overturned Sunderland just now. I mean, to ask you, Rotherham, I think you may as well get your money in because I think you probably beat us because of the way we played tonight. So, yeah, I mean, if if Martin's still in charge about that game and we don't win, then I think for me it's got to go. So, if you want to make sure you like, subscribe to the notifications. Yeah, fair play to Stoke. I think you deserve to win. Peace.